it's Jill and Roxanne. Today we are going to cut a whole chicken and I left it in the package just to start to give a quick note to let you know that Aldi has the best price on an organic whole chicken that you can get. I've seen it as much as double at other grocery stores so you know shout out to them. But first things first, cut it out of the package. And this part isn't that exciting, but you want to do it in the sink because you're going to make a juicy mess. All right? And she got it out of the package. <laughs> Jill, Jill doesn't like her own. We're going to rinse it real quick because, you know, and pull the Jill back out of the chicken. <laughs> this is why Jill isn't doing this part. Pluck any feathers that you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay? It's an organic chicken. You got nature here. All right. Great, let me turn off the water. You might want to have some paper towels handy, so I'm just gonna, uh, okay, <laughs> cut the chicken. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get the bird on the cutting board. And what I like to do is start by just cutting any obvious chunks of extra skin and fat off. And I usually use, I have one small knife and one big knife to do this, because there's like some detail stuff that's just easier with a smaller knife and the big knife you'll need to get through some bone. So then my plan of attack is this. First, we're gonna cut this down the center line there. You can feel there's cartilage between the breasts. And now I have it on its back in case you didn't notice, okay? We're gonna take our big knife and poke right through. It's not hard to get through the cartilage, but if you hit bone, you'll feel it and it will be hard. So we can just follow that line as closely as possible. You heard that? You'll eventually get the breastbone. And then you can turn it around, whatever makes it easier. And there we go, okay? So, flip it over so it's prettier to look at. <laughs> and the, then you just start grabbing parts, okay? To be honest, I don't have an order to follow from there. Um, here's the wing. Try to get up here in the armpit where you have this loose bit of skin. You can start there. And as you cut, you'll be able to get closer and closer to the joint. And that's really, you know, for the neatest carved chicken, that's where you want to cut. It's right in between where the wing meets the shoulder. And you may not always get that. And that's okay. Because, you know, you just want to approximate this. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's one wing off. Do the other way. You know what? I'll just do one side of the chicken and then you can kind of figure out the rest. Of That's thing. great. Just yeah. repeat that. So then we're going to do a leg, a drumstick. Same thing. Look for the loose skin. Cut that and it starts to become obvious where you need to cut next. Once you start cutting that <clears throat> skin back, then you're going to see there's a thigh attached to the drumstick and you want to find the joint. Sorry guys. You hear that pop? That was the joint. Let's just get in there. There we go. Thigh and drumstick. We're now we're going to cut apart, cut the breast off of the back. And for this we do have to flip it, guys. So I'm gonna cut through this thin meat right here. You can see the light here if you hold it up. And just kind of pull up on the breast. And it almost cuts itself off for you. See what I mean? If you just lift it up, it pulls away from the body. <laughs> Slippery. There we go. There's the breast. And you repeat all that on the other side. So I'm not going to do all those things. Save the back. Not only is there a lot of meat on it that's really tender and really good, but if you boil this or put it in the instant pot, you can make bone broth. And you can stick this in a Ziploc bag and freeze it until you have a few, and it makes it worth your while. Um, no waste. Now I'm separating this drumstick. Sorry, you're going to hear that joint again. Awesome. But there's the thigh separated from the drumstick. Okay. I'm going to do the, I'm not going to do that for the wing because we were going to bake it and we want it that size. Now this breast, if you're cooking all this chicken together, it's just too big and it's too thick and it won't cut at the same, cook at the same rate as the rest. It'll take longer. So. I like to trim it down a little. So I'm, there's a bone right here with cartilage attached. 
And I'm going to start by getting that out of there because no one likes to bite into chicken breast with little shards of bone. And the neater and the better you get at this, the less you will leave little shards of bones, which is always a good thing. No one likes to bite into chicken and hit a little piece of bone, right? Am I right, Bella? That is correct. You just follow, follow the bone. You can feel it. It goes all the way up here. Okay? And then we're going to just kind of scrape Trim the meat back away from there. It ends somewhere down here. Again, you can throw this piece of cartilage and bone into the <clears throat> same Ziploc bag for storage in the freezer as the back, and you can cook with it later. So what we're doing here is trying to make our chicken breast into a boneless chicken breast. Okay, we're gonna, it's impossible to get all the meat off of there, but you don't want to waste it. So. All right, this is looking a little job, but trying to keep things aesthetically pleasing. There we go, chicken breast. This is the tender. Now you know where the tender comes from. Cut that off and then cut this in half. You could do it lengthwise, you could do it like that. I think it makes for a nice thigh sized piece to just go ahead and cut it across the length. And there you go. You just repeat for the other side and you'll end up with your chicken parts and your chicken bones to make broth with. You can also cut this apart too, if you'd like, if you're doing chicken wings, but I don't know why you'd do that since they sell them already separate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great guys, join us in our next video where we're gonna cook chicken. If you like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.